searching the internet for dogs to rehome, assuring their owners of the dog's well-being, when in reality, the monster of McMinn's Lagoon was planning to subject the poor dogs to sexual abuse, torture, rape, and death. This isn't a chilling scene from a horror movie. This is the real-life story of the crocodile expert Adam Britton, who is responsible for the horrific sexual abuse of 42 dogs, resulting in the tragic deaths of 39 of them. And with all the shocking turn of events, Adam Britton pleaded guilty to 60 charges related to the use of child abuse material and bestiality. Let's explore the disturbing truth of Adam Britton's crimes, many of which have been way too graphic even to publish. That means that I study animals. I study the interactions between animals and their environments, and also the interactions with people, which is very important. I live in Darwin, which is in northern Australia. I have got five crocodiles and two dogs and my wife who <laughs> run a business with me. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. Born in West Yorkshire, UK around 1972, Adam Robert Corden Britton is a British-born Australian crocodile expert who gained popularity with his collaboration with BBC and National Geographic. He was also featured on the Discovery Channel, Animal Planet program's popular show, Animal Face Off, where animals fight to the death in computer simulated battles. The function of these teeth is that the alligator is going to use all of its bite force to clamp down on the bear. And these teeth are going to puncture the skin and even go into the bone. And then what it's going to use is these powerful muscles on the back of its neck and the weight of its body, and it's going to rip large chunks of the bear off. It's going to open up the flesh so that when the animal swallows it, all the very powerful stomach acids are going to get straight in there and start digesting it very efficiently. You should write fairy tales because that's a pretty good story. From the outside, Adam Britton came across as the most passionate and committed advocate for animals. After graduating from Queen Elizabeth's Grammar School in 1987 and receiving an honors degree in zoology from the University of Leeds in 1992, Britton went on to complete his PhD on the hunting methods of bats at the University of Bristol in 1996. He's also held a prominent position as a research associate at Charles Darwin University. In the mid-1990s, Adam Britton arrived in the Northern Territory, or NT, where the largest saltwater crocodile population in the world lives. At Crocodilus Park, a small zoo and research facility, Graham Webb, a leading expert, took the very, very enthusiastic Britton under his guidance. Shortly after he moved to Australia, Adam Britton soon crossed paths with Aaron, a wildlife ranger and biologist who shared his passion for wildlife. The two established a consultancy focused on crocodile management. Seeing the aligned interest between them, the duo got married in 1997 and remained together for 15 years until Aaron left him following his conviction. Despite being largely a private figure, his wife was actively involved in wildlife research and natural history filming. She had over 16 years of experience in zoology and worked on a number of sea turtle projects. As per media reports, Aaron had no idea about the heinous acts of torture Adam Britton was carrying out on dogs behind her back. Adam and Aaron's work included supplying crocodile footage for film projects. The couple once even hosted David Attenborough for a segment of the BBC BAFTA award-winning series, Life in Cold Blood. There must be some 40 crocodiles assembled in the river behind me. They were further featured in interviews on ABC News and Triple J's hack regarding their research. His other research, a study on the antibiotic qualities of crocodile blood in 2005, also gained global attention. Before his controversial involvement in animal abuse came to light, Adam Britton was quite successful in his professional life. A reserved and nerdy but passionate animal advocate who promoted the importance of crocodiles by swimming with them in the wild and shooting documentaries. So yeah, and sometimes it's very tempting to reach in and just tickle him under the chin, but I would never in a million years do that because it's just not worth it. Come on, Dan, sit. Good boy. Yes. Here we go. Hello. Hello, Smog. Things then took a dark turn when in April 2022, a clue was revealed in one of the torture videos he uploaded on the internet. An anonymous tip to the police identified a dog leash in the video 
that gave away the location and secret of Adam Britton's sadistic behavior that he had kept hidden from the public. He was finally arrested for the torture and abuse he had been inflicting on poor animals. Not much is known about his youth, but Adam Britton had shown sadistic sex interest for animals since his childhood. As per the court documents, 13-year-old Adam Britton began molesting horses as a way of experiencing his inappropriate fantasies in real life. According to an interview he gave in 2008, Britton had always dreamt of escaping the United Kingdom and following his interests in crocodiles, which he inherited from his nature-lover mother. His biology teacher and the famous British broadcaster and biologist Sir David Frederick Attenborough. Adam's fascination with reptiles began early in life, and he hoped to better the difficult relationship between humans and these wild predators. While giving an interview to an entertainment news site, he said, If people don't understand them, you don't really have much of hope of trying to convince people they are worth conserving. Over the years, Adam Britton was seen as a nice but antisocial odd man. Here are some of the traits that his peers and colleagues pointed out about his personality. The field research at Crocodilus Park said, He was quite up himself, so he wasn't a particularly popular person, but he was reasonably good at his job. Adam was accused of stealing Crocodilus Park clients after calling it quits. His colleagues saw him as an egoist who just wanted to get on the news and take credit for the stuff he never contributed to. Despite the complete opposite reality behind the cameras, Adam Britton was seen as a star for petting crocodiles. Adam took full advantage of his international standing like no one else. Following his departure from Crocodilus Park, he turned his leafy property, McMinn's Lagoon, home to eight crocodiles, into a worldwide filming destination. From the specialized habitat for smog, which helped the Cold Blood documentary series capture footage of crocodiles mating, this is the biggest of all living reptiles, and one of the most feared. If one creature were to be labeled a cold-blooded killer, it would be this, a saltwater crocodile. To the scenes filmed by Steve Backshall for his documentary. And you can feel the power of it, it's actually lifting the boat up and down. And various other TV program shoots, all were done at McMinn's Lagoon. Once the teenager Adam Britton had started acting upon his sadistic fantasies about animals, there was no going back. The satisfaction and thrill only grew with time. Starting with the molestation of animals, Britton then began capturing the abuse on camera. He used to torture the animals till they were nearly dead, and then used to share those videos under a fake username with other animal sadists on the internet. His abusive actions were hidden for years until a clue in one of his anonymous videos led to a raid of his rural Darwin property. Despite the great lengths he went to to hide his identity and whereabouts, it was an orange city of Darwin dog leash on one of the abused puppies that brought his crimes to light. Child abuse material was also found on his laptop, which led to his arrest in April 2022. The details of his crimes were so graphic and spine-chilling that Chief Justice Michael Grant had to issue a warning of nervous shock in the courtroom. Despite the warning, most of the public members just could not sit through the description of Adam Britton's crimes. Some rushed out of the courtroom, while others were seen crying and swearing at the monster of McMinn's lagoon. Adam Britton had been part of a secret online chat room since his teenage years. He not only used to share all the details of the molestation, but also encouraged other like-minded sadists to follow his teachings. The eight crocodiles in his lagoon were his partners in crime. The animals who used to die after all the violent stuff he did to them were fed to those eight crocodiles and other animals at the property. Adam Britton wrote in one of his messages to the court, I was sadistic as a child to animals, but I had repressed it. In the last few years, I let it out again, and now I can't stop. I don't want to. The list of his crimes was so long that they spanned over 90 pages of court documents. Not to forget that these pages only included the details of the crimes that had happened 18 months before his arrest. Over the last decade, Adam Britton has been abusing his pets and convincing other dog owners to give him their animals. He mentioned in a telegram chat, which was included in the evidence, that said, My own dogs are family, and I have limits. 
Adam Britton used Gumtree Australia, an online marketplace, to find people who were giving away their pets because of travel or work. He would build a connection of trust with them to take the pets with a promise of giving them a good home. And if the pet owners asked for news about their old pets, he would tell them lies and send old pictures. Most of the time, the animals had already met their tragic fates. He had built converted shipping containers into special torture rooms on his property that were equipped with the tools required to exploit the dogs. As per the court documents, he had tortured 42 dogs, out of which 39 couldn't take his abuse and were killed during the torture. For him, the dogs were simply toys, and he played with them by causing extreme pain. Where sinister events have left a trail of horror. The public really had no awareness of this going on for so long in our small community. Over time, Adam Britton had gotten so confident with getting away with his heinous activities that he started giving tips online on how to copy his techniques and get rid of the evidence after being done with the gut-wrenching sadistic adventure. Adam Britton later revealed that he only abused and killed the dogs he had no emotional connection with. In his words, I only badly mistreat other dogs. I have no emotional bond to them. They are toys, pure and simple. And there are plenty more where they came from. Adam Britton had been in custody ever since his arrest after the raid on his property. Along with the remains of animals found at his place, the videos that were seized from his recording devices contain clips of both animal and child abuse. People who had known him up close and had spent time with him were shocked after his reality was exposed. While working with Britton on the 2008 croc horror film Blackwater and its 2019 sequel, Mr. Trauke enjoyed many hours with Britton's Swiss shepherds at his property. When he got to know of this case, Mr. Trauke said, This is the thing that sort of haunted me since I've heard. You would have never picked him for that. The news also shocked the wider community, with reactions spreading far and wide. People from all over the globe were quick to join social media groups to stay updated on every detail of his case. Some even showed up at his court hearings, passionately arguing for the death penalty, even though Australia has banned this punishment since 1985. A few people even made their way to Darwin to be present for Britain's sentencing. They wanted to be present for the pet owners who Adam Britton manipulated. Many of the pet owners were shaken and burdened with guilt to speak out. People wanted to make sure their voices were heard, even if the owners themselves couldn't come forward. They hoped to be a symbol of the community's outrage and shock over what had happened. One of the attendees at the court hearing said, I would look at that man and think, what an intelligent and kind man. And then to learn of what he had done, I didn't sleep for three weeks. People who he had worked with started to notice the unsympathetic patterns Adam had shown previously. Despite the lack of empathy in Adam's behavior, there were no signs of violent or cruel behavior. He had hidden his secrets so well that even his wife was unaware of his psychopathic tendencies. One of his mentors, Professor Webb, who played a part in getting Adam Britton started in the industry, expressed his shock over knowing someone who was mentally unwell to a disturbing extent. He said, It was like we saw him pulling the wings of grasshoppers just to watch them suffer. He wasn't one of those people. While feeling a sense of responsibility, he further said, It's just sad when you realize that someone you know has been so messed up mentally and you weren't sharp enough to see it and do something about it. The argument that Adam's lawyer presented was on the grounds of mental illness. The lawyer claimed that his client, Mr. Britton, had a rare condition that led to strong, unusual sexual interests from a young age, as if that excuses his disgusting behavior. The crimes that Britton had started in 2014 came to an end in September 2022. The NT Supreme Court had a suppression order on his name until he entered a guilty plea in September 2023. Adam Britton had pleaded guilty to a total of 56 charges of abuse and brutality. The sentencing, originally scheduled for December 2023, was postponed four times due to scheduling conflicts with the presiding judge. It eventually took place on the 8th of August 2024, when Adam Britton was sentenced to only 10 years and 5 months in jail. With the verdict backdated to his April 2022 arrest, Adam Britton would not be allowed parole for the first six years. While banning him from buying animals or keeping them on his property, Justice Grant described the offenses as devious, 
and said that the unalloyed pressure Britain received from torturing the animals was sickeningly evident. He said, His conduct involved a degree of depravity and reprehensibility which falls entirely outside any ordinary human conception and comprehension. In his apology letter, which his lawyer read, Adam Britton expressed that he was truly sorry for the trauma he had caused to innocent animals and consequently to his family, friends, and members of the community. He further added that he plans to seek long-term treatment. Judge Grant was not satisfied with Britton's claim of finding a path towards redemption. He knew Adam had no remorse for his actions, and that he would have continued with his sadistic, disgusting crimes if the police had not arrested him. Adam Britton stated that his family had no idea of or involvement in any of his crimes. His wife, Erin, changed her surname and fled from their house after Adam's crimes were revealed to her. Reportedly, Aaron fled to a safari somewhere without leaving any trace behind. The verdict of this case disappointed the animal advocates who highlighted the need for stronger penalties for animal cruelty. According to the Animal Justice Party, the sentence was pathetically weak for someone who committed such sadistic acts of torture, rape, and killing of animals. That wraps up today's coverage. Our hearts go out to the animals and all the pet owners who became targets of Adam Britton's crimes. Don't forget to subscribe, take care of your loved ones, and stay safe.